because you're an idiot. It's she's from Cleethorpe, she's so tight she couldn't afford cushion. So apparently Trisha needs a new dressing gown because it's got a hole in it where her nipple is. We've come away for the weekend. Come to see Georgie Boy and Maria. But I'm a bit baffled, so I've packed my stuff like you do. Got my bag, got some books for Maria that I've read. Gareth has just got that out of the boot. Where well, exactly have you just got a bucket out of the boot? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're yeah, out and about. Why have you got a bucket out of the boot? It's, it's book. I know it's my pop up bucket, but why have you brought it? Bucket. I don't understand why you brought a bucket. Because George's house, right, only has a toilet downstairs. No. It's a three story building. No. So in the middle of the night, I can have a. You piss. are not pissing in my bucket. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh my God. I am sorry, Maria. I didn't know that well, it brought it. I don't want to walk all the way down the steps all the time. Lazy Please, do you know? Oh my God. Do you know how many steps it is to get down them steps? There's a lot of steps. You're disgusting. You're not pissing in my bucket. I'm old now. He's not pissing in my bucket. He's not pissing in my bucket. How do I use that to wash up? He's, he's not happy because I got mine first. Look at that breakfast. That's what you call friends. That have served me first as well. So, hi, Wendy. So, we've just turned up and they've cooked us a fry up. I got served before you. Yeah. Oh, she's here, look. Thanks, guys. Soft. Toast and colder toast. Is that it? Good morning. <laughs> a few minutes later. Did you enjoy your dinner from George? You well did. It is Breakfast. dinner technically. Breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Yeah. It was crap. It was crap. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, it's really nice. Thank well, you, George. the plate. Anyway, this is what you do. Look, here you go. It is a pink job washing up. <laughs> yeah. Wendy. She's Wendy. passed it to Wendy. Yeah, yeah, you pink. Pink job. Mm. Pink. What a lavish. You pink. That's right. Pink what? We have to have pink jobs, Maria, because I'm not emptying the toilet. Job. Mm. <laughs> These two argue. Gareth does blue jobs. Oh, yeah. Trish does pink jobs, so man or woman job. Yeah. Look at that man. So like emptying the toilet. Blue job, job, blue job. Oh. That's blue. No. no. It's a blue job. It's <laughs> it <laughs> absolutely I a blue job. Shit. It's a blue job. It's a blue job. It's a blue job. It's a blue job, isn't it, Maria? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Say yes, it's supposed to side with me. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, get cleaning up. As soon as I cooked all this breakfast, you guys can clean up. Good, good job. You've got a glass of water. I knew he was going to do that. Right. Oh, put that up on the fridge. I can't quite remember. Oh, Why can't you? I don't know where they are. I've looked. You haven't looked. Oh, you've got mustard socks on as well. It's just a day for mustard, isn't it? Come on, please. So apparently Trisha needs a new dressing gown because it's got a hole in it where her nipple is. George, where's the hole in it? There, there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? You two are about as funny as a dozen. <laughs> it's not a sea lion show. The clap. <laughs> yes, she has. Found it, Trish. Don't forget my street. Just send you one now, can't that? That's alright. Street. Yeah, my hundred. Are you so? Why are you recording me? Because you're an idiot. <laughs> 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 well, funny. Record yourself. How do you give me bank card? Can we go shopping with Maria? Like that. Film weird science. Can't help what we've got. I need a dressing gown. No. So I've just come across this, uh, I need a new scooter, but look at this. <laughs> this is sick. 
we need that, don't we, Maria? Yeah. I could see me kicking about on that, to be fair. You will get it in the camp van there, love. You'd have to tow it behind. So negative. <laughs> Maria's just helping Gareth with his dry skin. Look at his head. <laughs> Look at it in his head. There you go, it's all gone now. That's grey hair, that, Maria. That was very helpful of her, wasn't it? I've got some more dry skin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the toilet out, Maria. Yeah. Maria's convinced these toilets are haunted. No, it's definitely haunted. So I do need a pee. So I was like, come on then, Maria, let's go to the toilets. Yeah. See what we can spy in here. I should have started recording after I got up here, like, it's 5,000 steps because we're in with us Take to get mad. Hmm. Come on. Well, that door's heavy, isn't it? They get to here, and now I feel. Oh. <laughs> now I feel. Yeah, there is a sh feeling in here. So I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah, there is a weird vibe in here. I'm going to turn it off in a minute, in case people are in there. I actually get what you mean. <laughs> It's a bit dark and dingy in here, isn't it? It hasn't got the best vibe going. That's a sexy bitch. I meant myself, not the woman who walked around the corner. Do you not feel happy, my love? She don't like it. I know what I mean, she means it hasn't got the best vibe. I am going to go for a pee now, but I'm going to show you the ceiling, guys. It's amazing. So for me, in here is all right. Maria doesn't like it. It's not a good vibe in here at all, is it, Maria Fire? But when you go out here, for me, I'm not going to lie, right? This is the creepiest room I've ever been in. I think Sarah needs to come here with a ghost detecting stuff from paranormal chambers, don't you, Sarah? It, I, in here, in this reception bit, is the, it's not a good feeling. It's weird. It's weird. She's off. <laughs> I made her come back. Oh, now she can't even open the door. Oh. We're talking about how weird the toilets are. We're back, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, was it a ghost? Have you done your... Yeah, it was uh, there was definitely a weird feeling up there. Negative feeling. Yeah. Yeah, more in the foyer than in the toilets. Yeah. Would Maria's like, not happy, Bunny. Not really bad. Would it like Sarah's channel? I just said about the paranormal no, chamber. Sarah really would love it up there. there. No, it's just the way I feel. I felt. It's not good. It's not a good vibe up there, is it? That's why Trish went yeah. up there. And get shivers. I didn't get locked in. I didn't get locked it's in. Like but Maria couldn't even open the door to get out the thing. Then you're dying. Do you know what I mean? Well, you know you're not. But that. A negative. <laughs> it's not a good vibe. Sad feeling. There you go. Do you want me to walk it now? Go give you that first. Maria. Maria got my present when she went away. Job. I've not seen her in ages. Oh, it's wrapped as well. You might need to else to go with it, but it was all wrapped. <coughs> Oh, mate, I love it. Ah, oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, I love it. It's an elephant. Who is it? It's a I've got an elephant. It's a cushion. Oh, she has you. <laughs> I proper love it. Well, what is it? It's a it's cushion, cushion cover for my caravan. Nelly and Dunbar. So, you've got a cushion cover? Yeah. For my cushion. You know we've got four cushions? No. That's a special cushion. This is for me though. only. It's only for her. It's only for... This will go lovely with my um, Christmas throws I bought. <laughs> But I was going to unpack it and put a cushion yeah. in it. But because a little. Do you know why it's the right size as well? It's the same size as my cushion. Oh, it's because she's from Cleethorpe. She's so tight she couldn't afford a cushion. No, with a wrap tip. So bad. I did. Thank you. How do you think we should put it in the cat so I don't lose it? We'll meet you in the pub. Pub sounds like a plan. 
I know when I turned it on earlier, it said to me well, about the date. You're one of those, you strike me as one of those people that knows everything. I am, I do, but I can't read some of that, that small talk. I've only got three quarters of an eye. <laughs> one eye. Showing how ugly you are to the subscribers. Oh yeah, yeah. He's recording. Mm. He's recording you now. To be sure. <laughs> <laughs> just going home because he's just said he's going home. Look at this. Look at it. It's a bit dark. Maria, what time is it? Ten past five. <laughs> it's ten past five, Gareth. I'm not going home. Time. You were the one who said you wanted to go home. <laughs> no, I'll go down at other pub. <laughs> no, we're not going home now. We're going home. It's ten past five. Plenty of beer at home if you want to get more. So Maria's out with Maria. You need a hat. We've come back here. Shall I tell you why? Cold. Cold. He's I've got, got his hot water bottle on. Hot water bottle. This is gorgeous. This hot water bottle, on, isn't it? Oh no, he proper looks like Compo. <laughs> Look at him in that. <laughs> he looks like Compo. Compo. <laughs> Knock some teeth out, I look like him. <laughs> Maria took my shoes off. Even for Billy's me. looking and thinking, what are you doing? Maria took my shoes off for me. So yeah. It's, it's only early, it's half past five. We're back at the house. Gareth, in half an hour. Maria's on. We'll be sat with that door open. <laughs> I'm gonna have a glass of wine. George! George, you just said you're gonna get Gareth a shot of whiskey. That's not a shot. You do not look like Compo in that hat. Crazy. Your socks will be off next. It well, is nice socks and warm. Are never coming off. It's nice and warm in here. Ready? Um, there you are, drinking all that. Ching ching. Down in one. A shot? Stop being a fanny. A Down in one. Shot. Down in one. Sure. Pretend you're at my bar. Ching Down in one. Go on, Georgie boy. Oh, you. Yeah. Don't hold me for being politically incorrect. I know I'm not politically correct, but they want men like that. Are you going to sip it, really? I sipped it. And you got nothing to shot, George? Shot, shot, shot. Yeah. Not whiskey, I don't want whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. Oh, I know what there is. Go on then, have a whiskey. I meant for me, Maria. I like a Ooh. shot. Okay, so oh, we've got pink gin. Right. We've got gin. What is that? Gin. Is that glitter gin? That? Like glitter gin last year. Crystal ball. Oh. It's a crystal ball. Yeah. What kind of person do you think I am? No, I, people don't shot gin. Golden flake, clementine flavour, gin liqueur. You can't drink gold. I might have a shot of gin. You can drink gold. Gives you shit. No, I've injected it for years. Gold? Is that where you've been storing your Honestly, own? gold. Let me just take this off him. Yeah. Oh, wait. You can't have six in my videos. So gold! <laughs> Shall we have a shot, Maria? No. No. It's never been opened. Yeah, I don't open it if it's not. Who have you bought that for? She bought it for me because she's got no other mates at drinking. I bought it two years ago. No, you had it. We got it for Christmas because I like the light. Oh, you can still have the bottle and the light. I might have a drink here, Jim. Yeah, like. look. It's like we're back at the. It feels like we're back having a slice no. shot that we don't have a shot of. Oh, yeah, can I swap? Subscribe to get mad. Oh, it's gold for me. Gold! Go! Oh, that's really nice. That's peachy. That's really nice, that Maria. Should have one more. I'm getting drunk tonight. You sleep in my bed? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Not. It will be wide enough. That's right, nice gin, that you know. Shake it. Oh. Take it with you. No, because you want the bottle. I'll just sup it all tonight. <laughs> hey, nice. George, you're grassy. Oh. No, I'm not grassy. You don't know they're ours. Have you got some on? They're not ours. They are yours. Do you know what I'm going to do with them? For your window, love. Uh, they want, they want, they want they're the all the for window, George. When, when what we've got to do is... Camper van. We've got, oh, we've oh, got to decorate oh. the windows, George. In the windows. <laughs> this is decorating the windows. Have you had a, have you had a beer? No. How excited are you? Not Who did really. the Asda shop online? What <laughs> man? I did. What is that? You look like a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. It's like a pumpkin. George, ask, it's him, a pumpkin. ask him. Ask him. Who did the Asda delivery online? Do you need a thing? Who did the Asda delivery online? Um, pump, pump, pump up the pumpkin. Ask him who did all the order for the delivery online for going away on holiday. George. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ask him if they bought Christmas decorations with it. I don't know. They'll be, go <laughs> they'll be going up winter as well. Oh, well. Do you think I lost weight, George? <laughs> Here, George. <laughs> oh my god, George, your ass stinks. Oh, does it? Look at size. Oh, wait a minute. Look at size of the bellies. So, when Foggy is his name. Who's <laughs> um, 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 the biggest? <laughs> good you good luck editing this. Gareth, Gareth, I'm going to, George, I'm going to say this to you. Your <laughs> ass is rancid. You're disgusting. <laughs> you, man, are disgusting. It's the first time I've tried. <laughs> Yeah, George wants to go to bed, let him go. I'm tired. No, I'm off to bed. Nighty night, mate. Sit down. <laughs> She's I can't believe George has gone to bed at half past ten. Well, they've gone for food, house on my own. What do we do, Bill? Bill, what do we do? I've got an idea. Don't tell George. George is going to bed early, so we'll have some of his whiskey. He's only got a bit left, so we'll have a glass. <laughs> Cheers, George. A few minutes later. I'm still waiting. Cheers, George. George, your whiskey's gone, mate. Anyway, cheers. You've got supermarket for another bottle now. You snooze, you lose. You just can't beat a whiskey in a warm fire, can you? Look at this warm fire. And we got Bill. So we'll go see what's in the fridge. Come on. Go see what's in the fridge for you. They've gone to take away. What have we got in the fridge? Well, look, look, look how George lives. Hmm. Not much of a dog in here, is there? Bill, there's no food. Well, what a fantastic night you have with George and here. As per usual. Oh, it's the hostesses with the hostesses. Um, and I've had a bit too much whiskey. Whiskey. Me and Maria sat up till about one in the morning chatting shit about the kids. <laughs> like you do. Um, absolutely fantastic day. So I just thought I'd come on and say thank you to you guys for your hospitality before we get on this noisy road back to Skid Sea. Where I need to pick my van up. This noisy um, road. We need to go and do the noisy washing. Road. We end up washing in two and a half weeks. Powered off. Don't know why. It's got half a battery. So yeah. So yes. we're gonna go do the washing. So I'll pick you up a little bit later on when I'm in the motor room. See you soon. I'm out of gas. Van's freezing. And it's wrecked. So I'm going to go to the laundrette, fill up with gas at the same time, Revolut, LPG all in the same place, get warm, and clean my van. See you shot. So here we are. Are you ready to drive this one now? Yeah. Um, thank the Lord for <laughs> sleeping my coats. So. Yeah, now we're off to the laundrette and I'm going to clean while we're at laundrette. What are you going to do? Probably some editing. Yeah, maybe some editing. He's got a bit to edit. Um, oh. oh, I haven't thought about moving everything from up here. So I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> so, guys, every couple of weeks I've been opening the cupboards, moving everything. Um, because although we're in it full time, you can get mould, especially in the colder weathers. And it's a good job I checked, because look. Can you see? This is a pillow. It is the one that's right against the wall. And it's the only one. There's none on my other bedding. I've just stripped it all. None on the wall. I'm going to wipe the wall with Domestos where it was anyway. 
I do think this has got a bit of mould and it is only a bit, look. But I did put this through the washer this year because Gareth had a nosebleed during the night one night. So it has been through the washer and the blood came straight out but I'm thinking this is why this one's gone a bit moulder. I think. Could be condensation. I've just dragged all my co uh, towels out the cupboard above and the clothes and they're both fine. I'm going to wipe my domestos where this was but this is where you have to check guys. Because mould is like cancer to a van. Once it's got it, it's just going to spread everywhere. And touch wood, we're very lucky we haven't really had any. This is the first bit I've ever found. So that's now going in the bin. <laughs> if your vans have been packed up or you are using them full time, it's best taking your yes. pillowcases off and checking your pillows. Yes, it is. Because of the sweat from your head on a night when you sleep. Also, and I'm going to take the covers off the couches as well. I'm going to check them, pull them all away, check all the co covers. I'm going to check everything while I'm here. Because I'm at the laundry, so I might as well throw them all in, am I? Except the pillow to the bin. The pillow, that one pillow is going in the bin, guaranteed. And most importantly, don't forget to actually wash the wall by anything behind anything that's had mould on it. I've just done my winter mess I'm going to break from um, cleaning. What do you all think? Got me a Santa and a snowman. And he's thrilled. That's got a couple of trees. I've got this tree. We've got another tree, I don't know what it is though. Oh, I've got this tree. Yeah. And i got some throws coming tomorrow. And Maria, my cushion cover fits perfect. Correct. My washing's nearly finished. I'm drying. I'm going to check it in a minute and we might be able to go put some gas in. Yep, we have run out of gas. Yep. It's about two months since that's how we filled it up. A long time. Two months. It has, it's been ages. It wasn't last time I did laundry, it may be the time before that. 30 quid for heating, it's not bad, is it? Six, eight weeks. I've just done four loads of washing. Well, as you can see, it's like a Chinese washroom in here. Right. Wash all my bedding. What have you done to help me? This is the best. Do you know what he's done? He's just brought these in this and laid on the bed. That is the only thing he's done to help me. This is the best thing ever. Warm bedding and warm clothes just lay on them when they come out. They're lovely and warm. I'll be back in a minute when they cool down. It's been no help today. Although I don't mind it, they are pink jobs. Yep, pink job, but I'm old. Um, so I don't mind that he hasn't helped as such, because it'd be more of an hindrance. But I've put loads away anyway, so we're going to move. We're going to go get some LPG. We're not moving yet because these are still warm. <laughs> we are. It's moving. I want to go home. I've been here. I don't even know what time it is. And I tell you how long it's took me to do four loads of washing, including my throws, bedding, everything. Leave him there sleeping. Let me look at the clock. I can't see the clock on this. I can see this clock here because it's bigger. Quarter past two. Four hours. But I have washed throws, everything. Do you like my Christmas decks? Look. Uh, I've started putting them up. Look at my little Christmas tree. I've got this one. And I've got this one. And I've got some more Christmas. I've got some Christmas throws coming in the morning. Um. When my to delivery comes between 8 and 10. So, I'm getting Christmassy ready. Cause in a few weeks I'll be setting off to Spain on my trips, on my jollies. Got it? Yeah, I look here from out here. <laughs> anyway, I digress. If you ever are in Killingham, it's not Londis. So, we're going to go for our LPG. Just going to pull in in a minute. You've got the Revolut over there. Station's big enough for a motorhome in case you want to jet wash it. Fuel. It's got a bit of a shot. Got a bit of everything up here, really. It's even got actually got a toilet on the back as well. But public toilet. So it does have everything here. Um, it's a pretty little service station. And His Majesty's going to pull forward and get some gas. Oh, well, here we go.
I look thrilled to be out of the cabin. Hey? You look thrilled to be out of there. It is freezing today. It's not that cold. Maybe if you wore pants. I've got pants on. Trousers, I meant. Uh. To be fair, he only owns one pair of trackies and he never wears them. Uh. I've got Paul's being in here. Empty, empty. Yeah, we ran out. <laughs> Look how light that is. They are very light of the easy fill though. Lift it on one finger. I'd have laughed if you'd have dropped it on your broken toe. Well, I am not so alone. Yeah. You just keep your finger on this button and then when the bottle's full it automatically turns off. Stinks. There's a reason I don't do this. One full. Making a weird noise. Sucking out the old oh. stuff. Oh, it starts again. Yeah. And this will fill this bottle. I'll give fifteen pound then on this one. Definitely. Because it's bigger. It's a ten litre bottle, so. Totally empty as well. So a 10 litre, I think there's only one size bigger than this one we've got. It can't be a 10 litre bottle, it must be a 20 litre bottle. It must be a 20 litre bottle because we're putting 19.2 litres. So a 20 litre bottle is just shy of 20 quid, Phil. The little yellow bottle's a lot smaller, you see. And then you're easy, Phil. I think I better go pay, Anna. And I'd just like to point out, these connection fittings, which you get France, Germany and Spain 
and you get an extension. So don't be fooled out there by just buying them three, you have to buy the extension because this bottle, the yellow one, hold on so I don't lose it. The yellow one does use these three. But this bottle, believe it or not, this one, these three fit onto the there, but if you're in Spain, which is that fin, it has to go onto the extension first. Extension goes into there, and then that goes into there. 